Hey fam, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel, LV Bricks. I'm Nick. And I'm Caroline. And today we have another LEGO haul video for you guys. As you can see behind us, we have a few boxes. We actually have seven from LEGO and one from Amazon, I believe. So a lot of these packages we ordered at the beginning to mid of October, and they just got here. So that's kind of the estimated time frame of how long things take to get to Guam. Yeah, I'm, I don't even remember everything that we ordered because we placed these orders a couple weeks ago. I know some of the things that we should get, but... I think it's going to be a little fun doing this unboxing with you guys because we'll be surprised at some of the things that we're getting as well as uh, you guys will be able to see what we ordered. And hopefully in one of these boxes somewhere is the haunted house so we can build that for Halloween for you guys. Because we did order that at the beginning of the month so it should be here but we don't know yet. Alright without further ado let's jump right into it and start opening up some of these boxes. We are going to start off with the non Lego box. This one is from Amazon, so I think we know what it is. So if you don't know, or you can't tell what this is, these are six of the Marvel Series 2 minifigs. Uh, we ordered 16 of the individual ones yeah. from lego.com. Mm -hmm. Then each of these have six in them. And I think we ordered... Uh, Three of these six-pack boxes from lego.com as well. Hopefully we'll get that in this haul. Should be exciting. We've got another CMF video coming up. All right, next up we have this smaller Lego box. We just got some of the GWPs in this box. So we got the Halloween Fun VIP add-on pack. We also got the Scary Pirate Island GWP. This one's really cool. I love pirates. I'm really excited to put this one together. It comes with some awesome type pieces. A lot of like pieces to do rock work with and whatever. But also some like red masonry bricks. Which is really cool. And then obviously the, the pirate that it comes with. That probably came with uh, something else that we ordered. Obviously because they're gifts with purchase. I'm not sure what thing. Because they, they sent it separately. So I'm not sure what thing is supposed to come with. So this one has three of the minifigure ones that we were just talking about that we ordered from lego.com. So that's pretty cool that we got all of them so now we can film our Marvel CMF haul. 9 times 6 is 54 plus the 16 that we got so we should have around 70, or not around, we should have 70 to uh, open and put together. Yeah so stay tuned for that video, it should be really exciting as well. We also got another set of the GWPs, the Scary Pirate Island. and. The Halloween VIP add-on pack. And then completing this box, we have one of the sets that's retiring this year that we've really wanted. Set number 10293, Santa's Visit. So for those of you that don't know, Nick's birthday is Christmas Eve. But yeah, so he really wanted this set because it's kind of Santa's Visit. You know, it's kind of his his thing is Christmas. And But anyway, yeah, so this one we'll put together around Christmas time. Since it is retiring at the end of this year, if you want to go pick it up, you definitely should. I know the new Alpine Lodge just came out. That one you still have a couple more years, so we are waiting to pick that one up. But this one I'm excited that we got. But yeah, we definitely want to do like a Winter Village build. Um, and we like a lot of the holiday sets, a lot of the Christmas sets. But this one's one of our favorites, and it is retiring this year. So we definitely wanted to pick it up before we didn't have the opportunity to get it anymore. So I'm really excited that, that we got this one. It should be really fun to put together. Moving on to the next box. So this one is actually another set that's retiring at the end of this year. It's Hedwig from Harry Potter. Set 75979. So we actually got two of them because it is retiring. We missed out on the Fox, which is Dumbledore's Phoenix. So that's kind of disappointing. But we did get two Hedwigs. But yeah, excited to put this one together for sure. Next up, the last medium sized box. Uh, in this one, we have another one of the Halloween VIP add-on packs. They've actually been doing these ones for a while, so I, th I think that's why we got quite a few of them. Uh, because this one actually came with the Magic Maze GWP instead of the Scary Pirate Island. So uh, we got, I guess, two different GWPs with the, the Halloween VIP add-on pack. So that's really cool. This looks like a really cool little GWP. I'm excited to put this one together. It just looks kind of interesting. It's like a little fun play build. But with these GWPs, we got... The Venom. 
Venom Head Bust. This is set 76187. Um, excited to put this one together for sure. I think this one is also on the retirement list this year, which is why we wanted to pick this one up. Uh, we are trying to collect all of these, as you guys uh, may know. We just wanted to grab this one before it retired. That way we can complete our collection as much as we can. All right, moving on to the first bigger box. All right, so in this one, we have the Halloween VIP add-on pack again. We have another one of the uh, Magic Mazes. We have the Street Racer, set 31127. You got the racer, you got kind of like the older hot rod, and then you got Formula One car. Uh, but I don't know, I like the colors of these these pieces. And then we have the Cyber Drone. This is another, it's a small set, but it is on their retirement list this year. And I just think it's kind of cool. Uh, so we wanted to pick this up, but it is another 3-in-1. It's got some interesting builds, and I think it comes with a little minifigure, which is really cool. He's got a... An interesting looking head. It's kind of like a translucent blue head. I don't know if you can see it very well. Probably see it better right here. Interesting little minifigure, but a cool little build. And then we picked up one of these. This is the Medieval Blacksmith. This is a really cool build. Uh, I love the look of this set. This is set 21325. Uh, and this is on the retirement list this year, which is unfortunate. But I'm really happy and excited that we were able to pick one of these up because this one looks like amazing and we've heard some other people talk about it that have put it together and a lot of people say that this is like one of the best sets like the build experience putting it together is just awesome so uh, we definitely definitely wanted to pick one of these up before it retired because it just looks like a, a really cool set and I'm really excited to, to put this one together oh it even comes with a little puppy However, this one looks like it did come uh, kind of damaged. You can kind of see it. it's pretty crushed uh, the way it was inside of the box. It had some of the smaller boxes kind of like stacked on top of it, plus the brown paper. It kind of like pushed in the side of this box, which is unfortunate. It's not as bad as some of the conditions as some of the other sets that we've gotten have come in. And uh, we do plan on putting this one together, so it's not that big of a deal. But it is kind of disappointing to see uh, the box come in, you know, crushed. I'm, I'm not even going to take this one out of the box, but here it is. It's another one of the Hulkbusters. This is set number 76210. If you didn't know, if you watched our first video, um, we said how we wanted to do the alternate build for the Hulkbuster. But then Nick and I got to talking, and we were like, what if we built one of the alternate builds and one of the original builds and we kind of compared them so that kind of persuaded us to buy another Hulk Buster so now we have two and now we're gonna do one of the alternate builds and one of the original builds and compare them yeah that and because I think it was just recently on sale uh, on lego.com Lego's website so because we saw that it was on sale you know we talked about it and we had decided to get it that way we can build two different builds at the same time and then kind of compare them together so that'll be really fun. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one inside this box because it's the only thing in there. And the last box. This is probably the biggest one, I think. Yeah. Let's find out what we got in here. All right, what you guys have all been waiting for, we got <laughs> an <laughs> another one of the Halloween VIP add-on packs. But no, this one also has the Magic maze. I guess we got another one of those, which is really cool. Maybe we can try and change up the layout of the maze since we got more than one, I guess, and we can try and uh, adjust it or whatever and make it different. I don't know. We'll see. You can tell that we ordered it a while ago, but this is actually the last box that came in. Uh, and this is the one that we've been kind of waiting for all month. But this is the haunted house set number 10273. So we've been waiting for this one because we wanted to do this one for our Halloween build. This is an order that we placed at the beginning of October, so it's taken a whole month to get here. I'm very excited that it actually came in time for us to build for Halloween. And this is another one that is retiring at the end of this year, unfortunately. Um, I've heard a lot about this set as well, and it's just an awesome set. It comes with a few minifigs, but then there's also a lot of detail on the inside. And um, I believe the elevator is a working elevator. It's kind of like a drop ride. It's like a, a theme park style haunted house. So this is going to be really fun to put together. And uh, we'll also see if we can 
put in any of the stuff from the VIP add-on pack for Halloween into this build as well. Also, I really just wanted to point out real quick that one of the minifigures is in a wheelchair, and I think that's super awesome for LEGO to be inclusive like that. It's also interesting because on, on here on the back of the box, uh, it does have like some power function stuff. You can order as well. It tells you uh, what devices you'll need to order so that you can also uh, put some power functions in this and make it automatic instead of manual, which is really cool. I've never seen that on any of the LEGO sets that we've ordered so far. All right, that was the last box. Uh, really quick, we will reorganize this so you guys can kind of see all the things that we got for this LEGO haul. And uh, see you soon. That took no time at all for you guys. This is all the sets that we got in our LEGO haul today, with the exception of the Hulkbuster because we didn't take that one out of the box. So we didn't say this before, but as you guys can kind of see, the Haunted House did take some damage up here in the corner um, while shipping, which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Still excited to put that one together regardless. Yep, so stay tuned for some of the upcoming videos that we have. I know we have some more exciting things in store for you guys. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. We would really appreciate it and it would really help us out. Also make sure to comment down below if you like any of these sets, you want to see us build any of them. If you have any of these sets or you plan to get any of them, you know, which ones, let us know. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey fam, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel, LV Bricks. Yes, it's on. I had to make sure the mic was on. As you can see behind us, we have a few boxes. Uh, we got, what? A few? <laughs> we have a few boxes? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. As you can see behind us, we have a few boxes. There's more than a few. Why <laughs> do you keep saying that? Well, I'm not oh saying a couple. God. A couple is two. A, a few, lot. A few could be. It's not a lot. That's a lot. A lot would be like more than ten. This is a lot of boxes. There's mm. more than a few boxes. Mm. All right. Oh my God. All right. Oh. As you can see behind us, we have some boxes. <laughs> You think that's better? Well, you're freaking out about me saying a few. Like, what do you want me to say? A lot of boxes. It's not a lot, though. It's a, a lot. A lot would be, like, more than ten. <laughs> My God, this is a lot of boxes. As you can see behind us, we have boxes. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> what the big deal is. Because it's more than a few. It's not... <laughs> it's not that much more. Like, it's not... Okay. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. It's not even funny anymore. It's the fact that it's taken us almost five minutes just to get this down. Rudy do, let's get into it. And today we have another Lego haul for you guys. I almost messed it up. I was gonna be like, today we have another Lego haul for you guys today. <laughs> like, oh, I would have said today twice. <laughs> Crazy. And it would have been like, calm down. It would have been like, whoa, that's weird English. That's too many todays. That's weird grammar. <laughs> Also, why do you say I am Nick? Just say I'm Nick. Hey fam, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel, LV Bricks. I am Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Just say I'm. I'm Nick. I'm a Nick. <laughs> I'm Nick. No, you're Caroline. <laughs> it's it just... I'm Nick. <laughs> no, I'm Nick. I'm Nick. You're not. I'm Nick. Fine. Alright. Fine. You can be Nick for this video. Oh my gosh, that's not what I mean. <laughs> hey fam, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel, LV Bricks. I am Caroline.
It's just, it's just like second nature. Just rolls off. I am Nick. And I am Groot. <laughs> okay. Like... We are Groot. All right. We are going to start off with. Say that again. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. But it's still pretty exciting. I'm sorry. Is something funny? Did did I do something to? You said, but it's pretty exciting. <laughs> is it not? I feel like it is. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Is it? It's just the way you said it. It's am, not what am you I said. the crazy one here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine plus the sixteen individual ones. Nine times six is six, fifty-four. No. Yeah, 54. I was right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nine times six. <laughs> That's what he said. There's a family channel. Oh my god, more brown paper. <laughs> oh, thank god. It is brown paper. I was gonna say, you can't even see. Oh, man. I've been waiting for the brown paper to come in, so I'm glad that we're getting it, you know? I think we did that at the same time. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> so what, five years of marriage gets you, folks? Oh man.